everyone, hey and welcome back to yet another episode of Battle Rap Resume, yet another top 5 rounds, which is an episode series we've not done in a while, um, shout out to those episodes of Yonder Year, we're celebrating round Battle Rap Resume headquarters, a sort of, you know, celebration centenary, so shout out to, what do we do, I'm trying to wrap my brains there, we did top 5 Shuffle Tea and Marlow rounds with, with the fridge, that was great, Crafty mm-hmm. came on for a top five soul rounds that's some quality power of resume chat if you want, want to check that out and uh did top five shocks rounds as well with mark uh shout out mark i know he's got his debut on rap is full uh soon um and you know today we're turning our attention to yet another celebrated hallowed performer um you know someone who doing this episode i've only appreciate even more how fucking incredible he is and like how much i enjoy watching his battling and how well it's aged and just just how powerful it is and how exciting it is to to dissect and to watch and to re-watch and um that's unanimous we're dealing with unanimous obviously the guy needs no introduction but we're gonna do one for you know perfunctory purposes there um before i do all the sort of standard stuff follow us at bauer resume barrowsmedgmail.com get in touch with the show patreon if you want to help support the show i really really appreciate everyone that does um everything that goes on the channel goes in there first and yeah it's about it leave a review on itunes all that good stuff you know if you're into watchmen me and def do a watchman podcast if that's your bag if that's not your bag it's going away now we're going to talk about bars we're going to talk about yunan and you know we're going to get into him as a writer Bryn, i mean yunan he, a force of nature yeah yeah man he's quite some character He's quite some character. <laughs> is he a character? Oh, I'd say so. I feel like he's earned it. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He, I, I don't know. He's, he's a he's a joker. He's a he's a big grumpy guy from the west of England. Yeah, he's fresh. Even now, I think, like you know, <laughs> like yeah, definitely, you know, Maltese has been done. Angry's been done. You know, whatever countryman's been done, but. For some reason, the whirlwind of Yunnan, it just makes for this very potent uh, experience. Yeah, man, he's he, he's uh, he's always he's always down someone's neck about something. Oh, yeah. he's, he's always keeping relevant <laughs> online or within him. Yeah, he's a strange, a strange character, but but yeah, he's a, he's a good, he's a good battle rapper, and that's why we're doing this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I mean, Bryn, you know, welcome to the show. I must say, anyway. Cheers, man! It's a fucking pleasure, bro. It's a pleasure. I love, I love, I love the podcast, man. Congratulations on the hundredth episode. Thank you, man. Appreciate I only that. listened to like the first ten minutes with Avocado the other day, but that's sick, man. I've listened to yeah. It, it, yeah, man. It's dope. It's dope as fuck. Don't listen to those fucking uh, <laughs> those haters. Don't listen to those. <laughs> Mickey- <laughs> I, I think I quieted him down uh, a little bit, but you know, uh, you, I, debate is the best tonic, and also it's good for views. So, you yeah. know, I was very, uh, very welcome to have been good. But no, thank you for joining me, man. And, you know, we discussed when we were initially chatting about doing something like, I think I said, like, top five rounds, I want to do something like this. And someone like you, Nan, like, you know, I describe him as a force of nature, but he's kind of a paradox to a certain extent. He's very intelligent and very methodical and, dare I say, poetic at times amid the fury. He's very poetic, but sometimes, like, oh, you know what? Like, I've been watching so much of him over the last <laughs> week. I'm like, why the fuck am I watching some angry little tiny fat white guy fucking rap about Dungeons and Dragons and like rape and the horrible <laughs> right. yeah, all up in my face? And it's been, it's been I, like, yeah, in that, in that sense, I can't wait for this to be over. But in a lot of other senses, I do rate him as a lyricist. He's so sick. Mm-hmm. And he, he, no, for real, he's a poet, man. He's, he, he, he's a great rapper. He's a great rapper. Mm. And he... Yunnan, in in some sort of twisted way, lived sort of the archetype of the Hollywood star who grows up as a child, you know, yeah, in in the system. Like he was so young when he began. Tony D always talks about that, and like, yeah, it's so true. He grew up on camera. He's like, mm. uh, he's like all of those Disney characters and shit yeah, like that. Yeah. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of the Truman Show, it's like the the Yunnan Show. I don't know if that if that works, but. <laughs> <laughs> that's classic, man. Uh, up with that kind of shit, like, uh, like what was it, the the rise and fall of the Roman Empire, man? That's oh crazy. shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Queologisms is what I coined them, but uh, yeah. Um, but, you know, we're, we're here. We're here to talk about Yunnan, and you know, his paramount achievements. You know, we're, we're, I guess to a certain extent, we'll sort of go through his career. It was quite funny actually, because we know each other's top five, and there are some battles. That, indeed, there are rounds. I think one round, maybe two, actually two rounds that overlap that we both chose, which are kind of, you know, please comment below, you know, what your favourite Yunnan rounds, let us know, you rank your top five, and 
that's what we're going to do basically we're going to pinpoint battles we're going to pinpoint you know rounds of these battles just go through why we think they're brilliant and um we'll start off with you know number five we've got a lot of yunnan to get through so uh here, you're, 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 let's just talk about the list before we get into the actual you know battles themselves like was this was this difficult for you to chop up do you know what the way that i was gonna do it at first yeah I was going to go through, like, so go on verse chapter and go through every single one and mark him on, like, lyricism oh, yeah. and performance and then, like, score him out. And I thought, fuck that, man, that's just long. So, basically, um, I just watched fuck loads of Yunnan battles and then I kind of just thought which ones I thought were where he stood out the most hmm. and kind of broke it down like that. And there, there were some battles where I was like, oh, like, I love that battle, but I kind of like it for the other guy sure, <laughs> a bit sure. more. And, then, and then there's stuff like like the disaster battle where it mm. just it's, it almost pains me to like go back and watch it because of all of the shit that happened with like archaic and stuff it was sure. just like oh it's just long to go back and watch that because it just makes you feel uncomfortable like as if you're up on stage judging it yourself um but the way that i kind of went through it was i watched loads and loads and loads of those battles and then i just jotted down the ones that i kind of wanted to go back and revisit and then now i've got my top five should i start going through five yeah yeah let, we'll each go through our five our four etc and yeah. if there is any overlap which we know there is we'll just sort of discuss the battle uh there yeah. and then and as i say before please comment below let us know your top five um i popped this on twitter actually i'll get to some of the answers that i got from the listeners and the followers uh, at battle resume very interesting very opposite uh, to a lot of us a lot of interesting quotes by some battlers so yeah number five for you what's your fifth favorite yunam round quite a controversial one um his first against tony d good tony <laughs> you think because i'm from the southwestern shit that i'm some narrow-minded racist inbred disregard what you think you know about my life I'm a hell raiser, but my mother didn't raise no pinhead. Yeah, I've got this down to a science. My formula one, and your road to demise is clear. You've had a good year, but this a pit stop because you retire here. They said a, a battle where, to play devil's advocate, he gets bodied? He does get bodied, yeah, for yeah. real. But I kind of just think because Tony's so sick. Oh. Because, to like, obviously, Tony D is, like... King. Like, yeah. he is just a he's still man. champ in my eyes and i think a lot of other people <laughs> of what <laughs> don't flop, <yeah. laughs> of don't flop's weird music youtube channel now whatever it is i don't know you what? know what impact rapping? yeah yeah um, yeah they are chalked out it's a code red for the finances <laughs> you know um there's nothing uh, premier but, about it man but you know bars yeah, this this round against tony d his first round <laughs> is sick it is sick Hmm. what do you want me to start like yeah basically he starts off he starts off as if he's about to like create his own era of being the champ he's like mm -hmm. um i'm gonna seize the throne seize his home and then he, and then he also does like a did you ever watch the um the locksmith and tony d against joker star and verb t oh yeah on the beach front yeah, yeah, I was actually at that battle. Anyway, but um, Verb T does a, like, Tony D composed... Uh, uh, yeah, but I mean, hadn't Ur done that? I did see that. Yeah, but the way that the way that Tommy Billis brings, like, breaks it down, mm -hmm. he's like, it, he does it in such a way that it's just like... Oh, yeah. yeah he, like, it even spins out Tony's mind, and then, and then he goes, um, it, it, it's like, whatever Tony D composed, it don't excite me. I'm a local pikey in a pair of stolen Nikes. I'll weave your shop and, and lace you from the side like total 90s. Nikes, I thought that yeah. was oh, yeah, fire, Yeah, yeah, fire, fire. Like, I mean, Tony D is deadly in a jumper. You know, there's no <laughs> doubt. You know what I mean? Like, he's a killer in this battle. I remember this battle. Tony didn't really give a fuck, seemingly, as he always did, but he brought gold. And I remember this was one of the first battles I think I bought on pay-per-view. I was like, I need to see this battle. As soon as it happened, I was like, I'm dying to know who won this. Because I, I am such a Yunnan fan, but, you know, Tony just danced around Yunnan uh, to such an extent. Yeah, and um, yeah. to, to, Tony does absolutely rip him apart. Like, Tony mm -hmm. does absolutely rip him apart. But I do still think in this round, Yunnan, I, 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 I don't want to say Yunnan gets it because Tony's first is also fucking sick. But, like... Mm. The way, uh, also, Yunnan does that, um, so you know how in the uh, definition title match, he does it like, Anthony, Anthony. Yeah. He, he he does it, but he's like, um, 
he like personifies the uh, like body parts and he's like, this is your conscience speaking. And it's like, this is your wrist speaking. Immediately stop the bleeding. And that's just crazy. Mm-hmm. Also, um, he's like, how, how are you going to call me white boy when you half white boy, white boy? I leave you hearing white noise. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, he talks about sort of the two sides of his, you know, identity fighting against each other, him being in therapy. I mean, my prop, like, I do, I do like this round, but I guess my error with it is, like, you know, if people were to study it in an argument, it'd be like, why not to scheme? I think Yunnan's sort of Tottenham scheme at the end's a bit played out. No I've actually got that written down, man. I've actually got that written down. <laughs> added by your CD. It's like, come oh, on. Bro, come on, sense. Tommy. It doesn't, it actually doesn't <laughs> make sense. <laughs> like it, like, Leave your white like, heart. Like, it's like yeah. the crescendo is where your white heart laying. Lane, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, but I think, yeah, I know what you mean. That mm-hmm. is just whack, and mm-hmm. yeah, that 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 shit doesn't make any sense. But before that, he's like, I'll have my Ian Daniels on the uh, on the rocks, and I'm getting white boy wasted. That is that is fire. But mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know if he's trying to carry on the whole white 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 thing with it, but. But yeah, no, that that Tottenham scheme at the end is just like, right, surely you read that back and then you're like, that's got to go. But <laughs> but I do like that. I yeah. do like that round, though. I do yeah, like his, his performance is great. Like like you say, he does, he rises to the title occasion. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing, man. Like, although he gets bodied, mm-hmm. but the thing is with Tony D, like in every single title match, Tony D does just body his opponent. Pretty much, And yeah. that was like, undoubtedly the best champion that there has and probably will ever be mm. unless that like, shocks continues that or whatever i don't know kind of saw him got body by gemini the other day but um yeah. less spoken about that <laughs> but um <laughs> but yeah anyway what's your what's your what's your fifth favorite yeah yeah my but i mean just before we get off this round i like eight men to leave them crease in tone i'm here to leave a crease in tone it's like yeah, you know yeah, at the beginning crease. okay you know it's not but then we get the tony d compose which is you know i don't know um in this post bonnie godiva age it riles me uh perhaps a little more than it should be so yeah my my fifth favorite this is you know hey, wait, hold, hold up about that hold yeah. up about that you know that bonnie godiva shit yeah what happened i saw some i i I'm surely you're more educated than this right so 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 she was rapping somebody else's bars yeah are you aware of this what can, can you can you so we probably should have done that um, there no, yeah, I I don't really know too much about it. I've just sort of followed it secondhand from like Angry Fan and stuff. But it seems like she was taking bars from like a sort of you know just a forum bars sort of forum and uh, using like whole verses and schemes like identical. And like there's a video of some guy comparing uh, her performing to it on screen, and it's pretty damning. Wow, Mega Diamond's fit Well, I, I suppose that's an excuse, but not in Battle Rev. <laughs> She's still getting booked by people, and it's like, what is this? This devalues what people do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck that, man. That, that That's the whole thing about like, Battle Rap, man. It's like, don't go biting at anything. Like. No, no, no. Um, the, the, fifth, the, the fifth choice um, for myself, the top of the deck, as it were, the 10th. Is that tenth? Yeah, tenth battle of Yunnan's versus Joker Star. Mm-hmm. I think I think a lot of people point to this battle, rightly so, as being an incredible performance. You know, by Yunnan. I I don't I you know Joker Star to his fault doesn't perform brilliantly, um, and Yunnan capitalizes on that. Yunnan is just in this ascension mode, really. You know, making his way up the ranks, and it was hard, um, especially second and third are brilliant in 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 totally different ways but i had to go for his second round against joker star as my fifth pick and on some real shit i'm gonna be on some fucking real shit too many people fucking hate me yeah and look i'm not trying to be something i'm not i ain't on that fucking stuff i ain't got a gun to bust but disrespect me to my face outside of battle you'll have to persuade me not to throw an uppercut see look i feel separated these are just my confessions as a human but expressing them through music just depends on what my mood is i tend to lash out and get aggressive when i lose it but it's been so long i feel like I come remembering illusions, a sense of retribution, sentimental union, because I kept forever proven and I never kept it moving. It's almost cypher esque to a certain extent. You know, it's not too much about Joker Star per se. It's a very inward sort of performance that he's delivering. You know, he kicks yeah. off not with too much, you know, about him in terms of kind of, you know, pondering, but fuck your, ch- you know. Yeah. Mm, mm. But like you know, when he gets into like his modes towards the end of this verse, like it's it's entr- it's entrancing. 
man it's mad it's like the imagery is like it's like it's like salt against shocks in the title matches it's like on a par with that i feel it's, it is it does take you somewhere mm-hmm. yeah it's you know he, he talks about people hating him you know he talks about the real shit expressing stuff through music um you know created vivid picture picture and add varnish to the paint and you know he just I don't know, he's mixing that high, you know, quasi-philosophical, you know, deeper than diaries in the Titanic holes and shit, you know, with um, a levity, you know, Tommy in, in the Yunnan sort of equation, he bigs up his mom's dinners, you know, he he, <laughs> he, he, he he plays it with the balance, you know, he goes deep from, you know, your first kiss was Mona Lisa, which is just, you know, kind of absurd. It doesn't make any sense, but, you know, shout out that bar. And he's like, he's like you're so old, uh, you planted the trees that yeah. ate from in the Eden. <laughs> that actually got me crazy. Yeah. But, like, this, this battle, I remember, is like, what, so long ago. I think I was, mm. like, 14 years old or something. It's like, six years old. Yeah, yeah. That was so long ago. And I think, for me, this the reason why I think this battle was so sick is because for its time, it was amazing. Mm. For its and it was amazing and we'll go we'll go into it more later but mm-hmm. like his his performance is so 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 convincing the one thing about this battle that annoys annoys me is the fact that like uh psychosis holocaust is in the background just meat mugging it <laughs> whole- well until the third but no you are right yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway mm-hmm. carry on yeah yeah but um yeah, I just wanted to kick off with this round, really. You know, it's not necessarily, like, my favourite Unam round, but it's one that I always think about. It's one that I thought of as soon as we sort of open discussions. You know, it is a brilliant flourish, uh, you know, of technique from him, ferocity, and just uh, mindset on a goal, really. It's great to see him elevating above. Um, and just, you know, Jugstar was a veteran at that point, you know, a legend, musically. So it was very cool for him to claim this scalp. So um, move on. Number four for you, which your fourth favourite Unam round. Okay, so, Mr. Tom, my fourth favourite is his second round against Chris Leeds. Mm. Mm. Great battle. It is a fucking great battle. From Yunnan's side. I mean, Chris is good, but Yunnan is like, wow. Yunnan is just so hungry, man. Mm. I mean, the the whole battle is funny as fuck, and you got people like Lo Pesci and... Like Mickey and like, and like there's just ma- and like behind Chris Lee's you got like uh like Euphorical and mm. Lucy and shit man just like mad and like loads of like American cats were down for that for that event and it was it was it was just a sick battle it was yeah. a sick battle and it was just after um like they'd finished teaming up and like they must have just battled like uh Charlie Clips and DNA and shit so um it was a great time for those two to battle mm. but. But yeah, man. So my set. So yeah, the second round against Chris Lee's for me was fucking dope. <laughs> like fuck his fan for supporting him. Fuck his fans for endorsing him. Mm. Now nah, let me talk to him. Scratch that. Let me get back on my torture shit. I ride wit. I ride or die, bitch. That bird letting off a thousand shots. Blushy dick set for incoherent evil. My desert eagle look more like an albatross. Pesh, Pesh said it best. I'll treat this like an occupation when it produces me wealth. I'll still turn your head top to a condemned loft. It won't be asbestos that ruins your health. I'm a handyman that'll turn your roof to a shelf. Strap the hammer to your hand until you do it yourself. So he starts off by uh, saying, um, oh, I've gone from disaster to uh, Chris Lee's. Did I do something wrong? Like right, literally yeah. getting uh, space. But the way he does it, it's not like some gimmicky way he's literally mm. looking in his face like did i do something wrong like like i, I want to ask you now <laughs> um and then he's like i shake hands with the i said oh yeah this, for, this was just, uh, for this for you sorry this was suicide i shake hands with this for, oh fuck me bro i shake hands with the top tier that's why i leave you hanging and mm. that just got so slept on i can't even get out of my mouth it was that good mm-hmm. but <laughs> Well, I will like I will like that bar. I will like that bar. Mm-hmm. And, um, and he says that shit like, uh, "My flow causes more confusion than when villain drops an end bomb." Right. <laughs> <laughs> Got the crowd absolutely murdered for that. Oh, man. Is, I, it, is is that the one where he's like Chrissy Lee's? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah he, does, he does the impression of him in that in that yeah, round as yeah. well. Is, isn't um, that from Euphorical? And like, couldn't do it. Sound like I, a right prat. No, I think Euphorical 
does an impression of him after right. this. So I, so that battle was after this. So um, so because he gets he does he's like um, he's like. Oh, what you don't like my shit? Well, I voted for you. You ain't supposed to like it. And he's like, "What about if I do you?" And then he starts doing his um, getting a get, get all excited, get all up in the yeah. high pitch. No, I don't like it. I feel like a right prick. And then Euphorical does it against mm. you. Now, absolutely fucking body. Oh, game. oh man, it's sick. It's sick. Yes, yeah. Uh, you also is like um, I'll give you credit, Lee, because then you'll be in debt to me. And then Lisa alone with a loan shot. That whole scheme was just mm. absolutely ridiculous and left like the crowd stunned. Like it mm. was just a mad. Yeah, um, Yunnan's fucking on fire in that battle, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. What else I got written down here? Um, he ends it with that trick up my sleeve bar. Mm. Oh man, just the whole and and he That's a trick up the sleeve. Just the way he says it as well. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And he mocks he mocks Chris for the uh, for the. Um, leave tea on the floor like a clumsy housewife yeah. you should have done it down <laughs> <laughs> yeah no that bar was um i mean did chris Lee win that battle what against tony yeah oh uh, you know it's, it's probably the most disputed mm. like it is, it is i'm not saying he battle. did but i mean there is that discussion i like i don't know i kind of mm. like chris lee's man i wish he battled more to be honest he is because I, I I remember watching him like way 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 back when it was like um, whereas like him and analyst and like fucking Sprungy and all of those fucking retarded old guys just like in some like just drunk as shit just chat like just drunkenly freestyling and then there was a times change tournament and then Chris, it was like all right okay actually Chris Lee's is fucking dope and mm. then after he won that he teamed up with Yunnan and they they were a good little double act. And then, uh, but yeah, no, man, like, like the, I, 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 I still think Tony D won that title match. In right, honesty. right, maybe he did, yeah, 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 pretty. I mean, he, he needed to, but he, he did, he did. Um, but you know, there is, there is dispute there. So, number four for me is yeah, yeah. um a battle that I adore, a battle that I think is absolutely brilliant, one of the best of its year, one of the best of its era. Um, really two giants duking out with a, with a brilliant crowd and, and all of them delivering quality material. Uh, this is Yunnan's first versus dialect. Um, yeah, man. Real, this is, this is, um, this is, a, this is my, this is my third. Favorite. Yeah. 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 But, this is yeah. just, but yeah, man. Yeah. What, what a round that is. Oh my <laughs> God, man. Like, you know, Yunnan matches him on every front. It's almost like he sort of came out of disaster as a way better battler like it just everything seemed to come together for him for a moment and he was just an absolute murderer yeah man well you know what i think after that disaster battle he had to do something mm -hmm. he had to do something he got absolutely clowned in that battle like like i like i i, I rate you now so highly but in that battle i mean that battle actually makes a mockery of battle rap itself like it mm. is just a disgusting display of men bickering on stage and like disaster disaster yeah. is one of the greatest to ever do it oh yeah obviously and probably one of the best freestylers i've ever seen um but like yo like like he just came to england like no wonder fucking uh underpaid him and he spat like the guy was just on one all weekend blatantly he spat in earth's face mm. have you seen the video of him like just shouting archaic as a faggot on facebook on uh, youtube as well like all oh, right wow some right. madness anyway anyway first against dialect is first <laughs> yeah everybody knew i do you like that tech and character mockagin in layman's terms, what that means is I would body him. Look, you try, you try reenact Daylight's behavior he displayed in your matchup and treat this like a practical joke, that'll result in mummifications and splash blood. What I'm basically saying is mask up and I shank your cheek. Gash so deep, Assassin's Creed, I'm tucking blades in the mask, cuz. Plus, if you... Make some fucking noise, man. Come on, man. Come on. Yunnan often just has little turns of phrases that aren't even really puns. They're just sort of references to certain things. Like, for instance, I think, I think it's in the second round, he talks about splitting Dialect's head to the white meat. Um, I mean, the punches make you look like a pint of Guinness, which plays on, you know, the sort of obvious dialectics there. But for me, it's just the image. Cut him down to the white meat. Like, you know what I mean? It's such a blunt, plosive phrase. 
Yeah, man, it's, it's, it's fucking sick. He, he's got so much in this round that's just like that as well. Like, you know, he probably gets so much reaction in this round. Mm-hmm. He, 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 I, I still think so much gets slept on as well. Like, even, even his like first shit when he's like, you'll get your mango slice with a with, with Rambo a knife. Like, yeah. And like, um, also, he's like, uh, explain your mind frame with me and I'll landscape your portraits. I genuinely, even though that landscape portrait sure. shit has just been done to death, done to death, I still think that that was the first time. I, maybe that's my 20-year-old self okay. going back. I genuinely think that might have been the first time I heard it, or I don't know, maybe not. Mm. I can <laughs> so, make the uh, game change quick as the exchange rate. Not in my lane, mate. Get boxed and shipped off to the same place Colin McRae race. Oh, bro, that, that shit yeah, is horrible. That's... <laughs> it's absolutely horrible. It's dark. Oh, do you know what? Like, I like that bar so much, but he didn't die racing. Like, he died in a helicopter accident. <laughs> so right. Really... <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. I mean, we get some Crash Bandicoot stuff. Um, oh, yeah. Mask's that, that original just... owner. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> against Cortez I was like fucking hell he's going in um, yeah. I, lo- I love that Arnie uh, swam through the top here. I actually had O'Shea on Bastermind he mentioned that bar um, and, and you- off the episode I, I, I kind of thought about this because uh, when you do at the end what's your favourite film I, I can't remember but anyway mm. O'Shea definitely said on one of the battle rap resume things that any film with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger he just absolutely loved right but- See O'Shea in the front in the front row of because um, he's like sat like kneeling up against the stage for this mm-hmm. battle, and when he when he says like swam through the top, it you can just see O'Shea absolutely creasing, and I think it went over Kruger's head because he's just looking at the camera like sure. what. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you know, you know, plays his funny bone here. Uh, he's like somebody better fucking tell it. You know the you know. He does that. <laughs> Yeah, man, that's so goes well. close. yeah yeah it gets repeated it goes well um <laughs> i know you're pa- i know you're really passionate and you can't talk good talk but, e- good. but-, <laughs> but even deaf people can't understand this as his sign language is in fast forward oh, yeah, yeah. That's just so strong man that's funny and he just rewinds that fucking tell him and then also in mm. the third round <laughs> he like goes back and he's like i'm glad somebody fucking told him <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> um, and you know he he just powers on. Uh, it goes into high rise towards the end of the round. You're a hype man's hype man. Soon enough, you'll be a white man. Um, yeah. The cameras angle perfectly for Ark. It's like two of them, and Ark just looks bemused as he says it. Um, it's quite powerful. Yeah, it's awkwardly close to like <laughs> yeah, we'll tie into that battle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. It's pretty intimate. Just, um, he's waiting to go in. I mean, does it work for you when he describes ripping dialect into chicken strips? Doesn't really make much sense because no. he uses, uses a syringe. You know what, man? If you yeah. use a syringe to turn a human into chicken strips, <laughs> battle rap is like battle rap is just a hobby, and you're you're, you're just a messiah. Right. Like, fuck that, man! You're just some fuck knows, man. That's just some crazy shit. It's, it's, it's like it's like the pyramid in his rib shit, man. Mm. That you doesn't know. bother me. What pyramid in his rib? Doesn't bother me. It's battle what? rap. It's just craziness. <laughs> are you gonna take even fucking shuffle tea breaks that down? It's like I, I don't do care, <laughs> Shuff, I don't care. Like it's just, it. Why do we allow dragons and not pyramids? I don't. You know. Yeah, but I think it's the fact that like a pyramid is an actual thing that we have in life, right? <laughs> and a dragon isn't. Okay. So you can actually. <laughs> oh, fuck those, man. Okay. Okay. But... Let Let us know below, Yulan fans, if you listen to this. Does pyramid in the ribs bother you? I, I, I don't know. Are you poor you, Nan. I think he's got a lot of slack for that. Um, <laughs> but it built the chicken strips builds into the on my grizzly shit and just I don't know about you. Possibly the angriest I've ever seen him when he screams. Right now, I'm winning this. Yeah, right now I'm winning this because yeah. because that's something dialect d- dialect yeah. dialect said in previous battles. So it's like mm-hmm. an impression mm-hmm. of that, and it does work. And the thing is about this battle as well, the whole of Dub Y are behind dialect, but they completely are like repping for Yunnan because right. they just know what he's spitting is, is some good, good. Mm. And yeah, no, right now I'm winning this. It does yeah, matter. but right now, like, it's a real guttural snarl, um, the way he curves his neck as well, and just, you know. That one, Pete Soldier's mm. going in. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. It's fucking hard, man. He ends just by shouting Yunnan blood. <laughs> Yunnan blood, yeah, bro. The crowd are completely with him, man. Oh, yeah. Stop. Hell, yeah. Hell, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, it's a crazy, <laughs> crazy fucking round. Um, Number three for you. Number three for me is his first round against Jefferson Price. It's no apologies. I'm trying to deadbolt my spot. It's the best in this battle shit and swallow the lock and key. See, now I could keep it calm until this is over. But I'd rather get on some Jekyll and Hyde shit and switch personas. Bitch, you look as if definition cloned you. We were, br- <laughs> we were bred from a different culture. I'll disfigure this brittle pose and hit him till his limbs are broken. My wit alone can skin a cobra. You got an ego as big as Oprah. But whenever you try to get gully in a battle, your breath gives off this sticker. Roma, the distinctive odor of burnt magnesium with a hint of sulfur because this bitch is more gassed up than the Bristol Roma. Okay, yeah, this is actually my first. This is actually my favorite round. Yeah, I mean, just oh. it's vintage, isn't it? It is, but are you sure we're cool about like talking about it because it's got a lot of uh, Mickey Worthless in the background, and I don't want to. <laughs> oh, I don't want to have any lawyer it's, case or it's all I, good, I don't want to. <laughs> He stays in the background. He's not on the thumbnail. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but oh know, man, it, it, it's a fucking sick round. It's a mm. sick round. again, again, again. This one was like what 2012 or something. So oh, ages, yeah. But for, for its time, this, this shit, this shit is great. Like now, it, it's now man, now it's timeless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but rounds were a lot shorter back then as mm. well. Like mm. it, it is so much in such a short space. It is just so sick. It is yeah. so sick. I mean, the way, just, the way he just stands there, he's not like the monster Yunnan post is, as we say, like with Chris Lee's. He kind of just stands in place and occasionally cranes towards, but it's still quite enigmatic. Yeah. I think also Yunnan goes up against somebody like Jefferson Price a lot better than he goes up against Disaster. Right. <laughs> like, because he can go, get so gully. Yeah. Whereas, because obviously it's Jefferson Price. Also, I just wanted to say so, one thing. Basically, before this battle starts, yeah, this is hilarious. Um, uh, introduced Jefferson Price and promotes his like EP or whatever that he's just dropped, and so and, and it's called Just Assume I'm Everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jefferson Price has something called Just Assume I'm Everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he does. <laughs> into absolute thin air. I find that shit fucking hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, shout out Jeff, man. That is the highly desired battle rap resume guest there oh, one day. Get him on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That would be, be fucking... You should, you should get him on battle rap resume, man. Oh, man. I want it. I want it badly. Stop. Jeff, I know you're listening. Something. Yeah, it'll, it'll happen one day, I'm sure. But, uh, you know, I mean, in terms of this battle, like, it was a meeting of the minds to a certain extent. You know, big figures of this time duking it out there. Um, and Yunnan... I don't know, for me, it's just a perfect level, really, over the command, how original it is for the crowd to experience this in the don't flop atmosphere at the time, as you say, you know, still has a lot of the heavy hitters, catch yourself a case of dementia if she gives out any more brains. It's the birth of the monstrosity as well. Yeah. Yeah, man. He starts it so well. He starts it so well. And, like, he, yeah, man, he's like a um, definition clo- clone job. We're bred from a different culture disfigure this little like like none of those are haymakers but he's spitting it so fast with so much conviction and that's what i mean against jefferson price it works so well he's also close to home so the crowd are with him mm. and like yeah man it, it like it, and he kind of flirts somewhere between just rapping fast and double time with that scheme as well mm. and it does, it, uh, it, it's ether it's just ether but um yeah and I, I kind of think this is where he gets into his dragon ship like this is the birth of Yunnan's dragon shit. Mm, mm. Yeah, yeah, it really is. It just kind of it's a, a a dominant theme. I mean, keep the change, faggot. Not the best age <laughs> closer, but yeah, man. Yeah, it, it, it is a great, it is a great closer. It is a great. In fact, in in the third round, or I think it might be the second actually. He um, you can tell that he loses it and he starts freestyling loads and like the. Like, he's forgotten his written, but he's freestyling loads, and it does work. But he does say the word faggot about a thousand times. It's like, yo, stop saying faggot, bro. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah no, he, he is sick in this battle, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, he, he, he kills it. Like, for me, it's not... I don't know, I can't really pinpoint lines as other battles. Like, obviously, there is the whole um, posturing yeah, at the start. Awesome. And, like, it's just, like, he gets so aggy and, like, yeah. just so, like up in your face and he oh there is one bar when he's like um 
you wouldn't blow up if you were a radical Islamic activist. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you, you live off feast. You live off fallacies and ask your bitch for fashion tips. I find that crazy, man. Yeah, yeah. It's so funny. But yeah, I know what you mean. It's not like it's not like there's any bar like um like uh like like where against like dialect. He's like um if you were Steve Jobs, you wouldn't fire text or anything like that. There's not a standout bar, but yeah. it's just the whole performance in this one, which is why we both got it so highly ranked because it's just I'm sure. You know, would agree as well. It just, it just works, man. It just works. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It, it really is uh, effortless. I mean, the gassed up, uh, more gassed up than Bristol Rovers, um, <laughs> which is, which is hard. At the end of the first punch. Yeah. And that's like, yeah, that, that, but that's what it comes at the end of that yeah. long, long, long double time scheme as well. Yeah. <laughs> and this is in Bristol as well, so the Bristol fans. Are oh yeah. Go, oh uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was tailored. It was tailored very well. Um, so. Uh, this is my is this my third yeah this is my third now so my third is pedro uh the first round against pedro quick question pedro why the fuck do you always look like you're about to explode (laughs) (laughs) and and rhyme like you've got attention deficit hyperactive disorder when you're trying to perfect flows over jungle beats and techno you want a warden let's go i'm the marksman in an armored tank that came to bombard your threshold and leave you dangling from a bladed chain with a disconnected neck bone and way more than just a case of strep throat when i hack you down slice your juggler vein and pull your esophagus through the flesh hole I mean, peak Yunnan for me, April 2012, Chronicles at the front, you know, I mean, he just really, he was meant to battle Shotty, actually, here, um, you know, we're in the Lunacy, Shadow, that sort of era of the league, it's just a, a, a you know, absolute wrecking ball of a performance. It's so funny, man, it is actually such a sick performance, Pedro's sick in that, but Pedro is just so sweaty and rapping so yep, fast, yep. <laughs> The guy literally looks like someone's chucked a bucket of water over him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, he looks definitely on some um, <laughs> influential things there. But, um, you know, he, to- <laughs> he goes to Jefferson Price at the start of this. Says, should yeah. I talk about his mother? You know. Oh, man. She got that written down. And, and, and Jefferson Price is like, I don't give a fuck. And he's like, let's talk about his mother. <laughs> <laughs> um, her burst rugby ball looking beaver. Oh. So, yeah, he... <laughs> <laughs> what a sight! Um, her free meals a day consists of ball sacks, monster dicks, and meth smoke. It's so, a good I mean, free. Course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a pretty, uh, it's a normal, <laughs> normal recipe. Uh, her vaginal ca- vaginal cavity is drier than a mixture of African weather and French toast. <laughs> Just, it, it's in a pit format. Yunnan, really, like yeah. Yunnan is a poet. Yunnan mm. is a poet. It's like. It's like that. Like that is just. That, I mean, it's poetry, definitely. But come on, that's disgusting. <laughs> but that's why that's like shit. Sure yeah, yeah. It's poetry in the sense where you know you can sort of feel uh, a certain pen behind it. But it's not the most beautiful Wordsworthian uh, kind of imagery. Pedro, why do you always look like you're going to explode? <laughs> it's quite a sort of goofy little. Like, I like that. I like that line. Um, and just lots of, lots of Yunnan isms. You want a war? Well, let's go on the marksman in an armored tank that came to bombard your threshold. Yeah, man, that's mm. so hard. Mm. Mm. Just that's delivered, so delivered well. Um, then your mum's got a clunge crust, um, which he which he expands on. I feel like Bruce Lee raped her when I butt fucked the dumb slut of the force of metal nunchucks. Oh, it's bare yeah. graphic. <laughs> 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 he talks about being Columbine personified as well, which I always thought was quite a nice a god of rhyme. I know that eventually the body dies, but my conscious mind's immortal. It's like, like I'm, a, I'm an alligator poacher as well. <laughs> it's like what the fuck, man. <laughs> uh, um, it's it, it's just a hard round for me. I think it's a really really impressive round. Yeah, I kind of feel like in that environment nowadays, if like there was. If someone was spitting that close to Pedro's face, mm. Pedro would try and EMC someone, or he would get all up. But Pedro takes such a like chilled out and relaxed, like like he'll literally be going in at Pedro, and then at the end he's like laughing as if he was battling like O'Shea or something. But he's actually getting all aggy in his face, whereas normally like Pedro on any I don't know you don't see a lot of Pedro nowadays, but like. In recent times, when you've seen someone actually get up in Pedro's face, Pedro can be the easiest, especially when he's all sweaty and gassed up. Big up Pedro, I fucking yeah. love Pedro. But, 
But yeah, no man, like it's, it's nice to see someone just getting all up in Pedro's face and Pedro actually finding it funny. Yeah, yeah. Pedro fucked in that battle. I can't even. I can't imagine even fucking remembers it, man. No, no. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a vintage. As I keep saying that word, but Yunnan, you know, was br- brilliant, absolutely terrific in this battle. Um, number two, we discussed that, didn't we? That was dialect first for you. Indeed, indeed, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and. Um, my second is actually the first round uh, against Chris Lees, which I think is a fantastic round yet again, because it's just working for a theme, really. You know, it's employing that world of the partnership has gone rotten and the drama's playing out in the battlefront. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like um, it's like they just had like some divorce and they've just met up for yeah. like marriage or something or some dumb shit like that it's funny as fuck yeah yeah it was just i mean it's the thread played through all of the rounds and they're all fantastic in their own way i love um you know when he talks about chris lee's and his kind of extra habit or whatever that costs a relationship and him and the girl slow dancing and then him snapping out of it and remember then remember you know <laughs> yeah it's fucking it's hard man it's just like you know and yunan compares their relationship on skype to being like a a military man who can't return home from war like you want to just continue this endless onslaught it's like you know what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> you know what i kind of feel for yunan in that way but mm. do you because because in your episode with yunan as well on the battle Rap resume at mm. your episode with yunan, he talks about how he carried him well or like like devised all of the schemes when they were preparing up mm. and then he talks about that a lot in the first round against chris lees you can kind of see it if you go back and watch which i did today a couple of the battles that yunan and chris lees partnered up for like mm. definitely think that yunan did devise a lot of that and you can tell that it's very very yunan but um but yeah like i i, I kind of think it is just a, it's just a great battle that one mm, it is a great mm. battle. yeah yeah oh you're right you're right it is fucking brilliant um and i mean that brings us to the end because uh you know i went with jefferson for first which we covered a little early for yourself i mean um any other battles any other moments to stand out for you as classic as far as you know though mm. uh i recently watched his battle against um jolly J. Mm. Wait, was that the one that just dropped? Re- yeah, 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 against Johnny J out in um, yeah, that's that's a sick battle, uh, out in Germany. I like that. I, I think I think he's. I think I can imagine him going over there more and more often. I think he's got a good um like relationship with Don't Let the Label Label You, which is a sick battle at league. Um, and uh, yeah, like I I I, re- I was gonna put um his third round against Johnny J in my top five, but um he spits loads of his uh his don't flop drops in that third round right have you seen okay no you know his don't flop yeah yeah yeah, yeah. We, i really like his don't flop drops which is like it's again very 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 like um image based and it is great it's great but he does just spit and i hate that when somebody reuses something in a battle and it's like, i heard that like it really mm. isn't focused on the opponent um I'd like I'd like to just see you know and I don't know like, isn't he one of isn't he part of one of the teams in this whole Premier no uh yeah yeah I think you're right I think he's featured uh I don't quite remember a lot of people have been announced but yeah and there's like there's like four on each team so yeah. oh fuck it yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, there's lots to point to. Um, you know, there's a lot of merits. Even in, like, his freestyle compliments battle with Shuffle outside the Fiddler's Elbow. Um, You're, in the... You're in the background. I'm in the background, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I think yeah, that's quite prominently. So, yeah. He also does that portrait, portrait <laughs> shit. And oh, that. yeah. But, yeah, man, that, that shit is so funny, man. That shit is so funny. It's so gay. But yeah, it's yeah. so funny, man. It's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, they work it well, definitely. Um, yeah. I, I, I like I like seeing that side of Yunan as well when he's just absolutely taking it. He, he's a sick freestyler, man. He is actually a sick freestyler. Like, I'd like I I just think he should battle more. He should battle more. Mm. Take life a little less seriously, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's uh, I mean, he's been through the ringer battle wise. You know, he's battled so much. He's battled fifty one battles. He's had. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, five point eight million views total. Average is one hundred fifteen thousand. He just battles all the time. It's just sometimes he sort of lets you down a little bit. Like when he battled Sketch, I was like, "You meant to body this fool?" Oh, that battle I thought was trash. To be honest, mm. 
I just thought it was weak from both sides. Like it's a good yeah. battle, like it's watchable, but I wouldn't. I don't reckon I click on that again to be honest. Like nothing about that. I just kind of thought if you're gonna go to, I don't know. They played on the whole. Um, he he talked about him not being part of Don't Flop in that battle loads, mm. and like oh, the Canadians don't want to hear about that, man. They want to see their own person. Yeah. Neck get sliced. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he just wasn't really, you know, if he would have been a Pedro Yunan, a Joker Star Yunan, whatever, he would have done really well. But it just not, you know. It's like he didn't choose. A, he didn't really choose a star. He just went to kind of just out wrap him, and it's like he didn't really do that anyway. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe yeah. I need to say again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it was. Uh... But yeah, let us know, as I say, um, your top five favorite Yunan rounds. Um, you know, this has been awesome uh, going deep on these things, and you know, I'm sure we do more. I'm sure we. Uh, Maybe do like a top five. I'm trying to think of other battlers that'd be good to do on, like an Ogmios one would be quite good, probably. Yeah, I was thinking that. Definitely, mm. definitely do like a more light hearted one, man. Mm. Or mm. Like, I, I think a two on two, but like, I don't know. Maybe an American person, like, I don't know. It'd be, it'd be too hard doing like an Ilmac or something because it's the back pattern. Oh, man. Yeah, there's too many. Yeah. yeah. But, um, like, maybe, maybe like a, like a, like a zest and possessed and rain or something like that. Mm. That'd mm. be kind of sick. Yeah, yeah. It's not a bad shout, man. Well, um, this has been great, man. Is there anything you need to promo or Twitter or? Uh, no. I'm releasing a clothing brand recently, uh, like in a right. couple of weeks. But um, anyway. with Yunnan involved, or is Yunnan involved? <laughs> you should just print Yunnan shirts. Um, taking taking mad amounts of drugs on t-shirts. Come right. by that. <laughs> okay. okay, shout out my guy Yunnan uh, every time. Shout out the oh, Yunnan man. episode as well. Um, yeah. You know that was a fucking great episode. That was so cool to have him on. Um, we've been yeah. trying to do it for ages, and I sort of I always persisted because I knew it'd be great, and it was just fucking the best. So shout out to Yunnan. Um, let us know, as I've kept saying, your top five Yunnan rounds. Um, this has been great, man. You know, I just want to urge people again: <laughs> listen to more Yunnan, watch more Yunnan. He's fucking sick. And Bryn, thank you for joining me, man. My pleasure, bro. Safe for having me.